cracking the code on the greatest of all time. This is the GOAT code. He was born in Houston, Texas on October 9th, 1958. The youngest of 10 children. Raised in a strict religious household, sports were forbidden. But he was finally allowed to play football in high school and made all state as a guard and linebacker as a ninth grader. He was offered a scholarship to Baylor after the head coach watched only a handful of plays from his high school game tape. In four years at Baylor, he amassed 662 tackles, averaging 15 tackles a game, and was a two-time All-American. And then, on April 28, 1981, in the second round of the NFL Draft, he was picked up by the Chicago Bears. From the Pro Football Hall of Fame class of 1998, middle linebacker, Mike Singletary. Mike Singletary, thank you so much for coming on the go. It was great to be here. Thank All you. All right. So let's start at the beginning. You were one of 10 children. Yes. And growing up, you were not allowed to play sports, much less football. Talk to me about the journey to getting on the football field. Well, it, it, it really is a journey. It's, um, you know, we were Pentecostal, and my father was a Pentecostal pastor. So sports was not allowed. So my sisters didn't dress in gym. My brothers couldn't play sports. I was playing football, and I would play two or three streets away from where I live. And you're just making sure that, you know, I wasn't in a place where I could be seen. When my mom and dad divorced, I, I just, it was just something, it was that window. I loved the game. I said, Mom, I, I got to play. You know, let me play football. This, this is a game that I love. I, I, I promise, you know, I'm, I'm going to be good at it. Just give me a chance to, to play. Singletary's college play was legendary, and he still holds the Baylor record that will probably never be broken. But his most infamous accomplishments didn't show up on any stat sheet. Testing has shown that polycarbonate alloy football helmets can withstand more than 560 pounds of force before cracking. That's an amount of force equivalent to the impact when you drop a 25 pound cinder block from about seven feet. And while he was at Baylor, Singletary broke 16 of his own helmets. What made you so fierce on the football field as such a mild-mannered man off the field? Well, I, I think for me, it was really being focused. When I was a kid, I used to listen to Norman Vincent Peale, uh, The Power of Positive Thinking. You know, there was so much crazy stuff going on around me. So being able to get in my room and put on those headphones and listen to the power of positive thinking and being able to, from the inside out, focus on what it is that I want to be and being able to envision myself running through things. So that was really kind of what, what started it, having the proper technique as a middle linebacker and whatever it was that I was hitting, making sure that I pictured not just hitting it, but going through it. Singletary's technique included more than just trying to knock the ball carriers into the next quarter. It started before every snap with his balance, his weight evenly distributed. On the snap of the ball, he frequently executed what's called a split step. It's a tiny hop you see a tennis player take, for example, as the opponent serves. This preloads muscles like the quadriceps, enabling rapid force production. 
Research has shown that utilizing the split step can increase peak ground reaction forces by as much as 60%, improve reaction times by almost 15%, and was a key to Singletary's explosive first step. We measured Singletary's reaction times as fast as 18 hundreds of a second. That quickness was crucial because in that sliver of time, a ball carrier running at 15 miles per hour travels almost four feet. But Samurai Mike wasn't always just reacting to the play unfolding in front of him. It took time, but Chicago's defensive coordinator, Buddy Ryan, had given Singletary a key to greatness. Everyone, fans included, could see your eyes. And the picture of your eyes trained on the offense truly is iconic to the game. Was that stare intentional? Were you trying to psych out your opponent or is that how focused you were? When I started playing, Buddy was telling me I needed to do this, I needed to do that. He gave me the projector. And he said, this is your responsibility. You need to watch film. Watch film as much as you can, as often as you can. And I asked Buddy, what am I supposed to be looking at? And he just said, look at the film. Just keep looking at the film. Okay, I'm looking at the film. This goes on my whole rookie year and nothing is happening. I'm just watching film, I'm watching plays. I'm in my apartment, I'm crying, I'm frustrated. I've been watching film for maybe three or four hours and I don't see anything. And as I'm sitting there, all of a sudden, so wait a minute, I run the film back. And as I'm looking at it, what I saw, I saw the guard's foot. When it was a running play, his foot was about halfway the center's foot. And I'm like, oh man. So I'm, 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 I'm running this back. Every time it's a run, I'm seeing the same correlation. And it's like, oh man. You know, I'm getting up, I'm running around the apartment, and now it, it's, it's on, passing, on passing plays. His foot is deeper. When it's a running play, his foot is shorter. Oh, man, look at this. this. Oh, man, I can't believe this. I know where the play is going. And, and everything began to just come together. Now, when I'm playing, I'm, I'm on the field, I'm looking. I wasn't looking at anything. But as I looked, my eyes would focus on whatever it was in that play that was giving me the key to where the play was going. So any game we're playing, I have a tremendous idea of where the play is going. And so for me, that's, that's the edge. Not only am I gonna get there, I'm gonna get there before anybody else. And while they're trying to run the play, I'm gonna wreck the play. This is why Singletary was the quarterback of one of the best defensive squads in NFL history. He studied more film than anyone, giving him a built-in head start. Now, even 80% of professional poker players have physical tells, and Singletary's wide eyes were looking for tells on the field. Elite players like Singletary utilize what's called information reduction. They filter out unimportant visuals. During moments before a snap, he was utilizing what are known as gaze fixations, glances that lasted from two seconds to only two tenths of a second. That's less time than it takes for a bear to snag dinner. So for everybody watching, and they're asking themselves, how do I unlock my greatness? What is your advice to the average person sitting on the couch saying, I want to be great? I just finished writing a book. And uh, this, this book is all about my journey. And I think the first thing that, that I had to do was really have the courage to write it down. This is what I'm gonna do. This is my statement. 
a purpose, my vision, and I'm gonna put it up where I can see it. And once I do that, now I've got a chance to, to really begin to think about what else do I need to do in, in order to uh, make this really come to pass. Um, there are certain things I need to stop doing and there are certain things I need to do more of. What are those things? And so those are conscious decisions that, that I have to make in order to go there. So to me, those are just some of the things that when you begin to talk about greatness, the call to greatness, it starts with courage, writing it out, making conscious decision, being consistent. Mike Singletary, God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us on the Thank Go you. Code. So let's decipher the GOAT code for Mike Singletary. He finished his career with 1,488 combined tackles, 885 of which were solo. He went to 10 consecutive Pro Bowls and was voted first team All-Pro eight times. In 1985 and 1988, he was named NFL Defensive Player of the Year and led the Bears to a Super Bowl championship. But those accolades and honors wouldn't have happened without intangibles like obsessive film study, leadership, and a never-ending thirst for punishing hits. Those are the defining factors of the code that make Mike Singletary a true GOAT. For the GOAT Code, I'm John Brankus.